Greetings, Carlosians, it's Byro here. I hope all my frogs and polywogs are staying fresh out there. If you're a viewer of GBP, then you're already aware that I have started many fighting leagues, and I don't discriminate. I have crackheads, <laughs> feminists, <laughs> and many more. So today we'll be taking a look at a group that likes fictional fight leagues almost as much as I do. They call themselves Left Hook, the anti-fascist self-defense club. This should be good. Roll it, Johnny. We don't trust the police to protect us. We're the left as a community can protect ourselves. Okay, I like that you're trying to save taxpayers money by not having the police come to your aid when you're in trouble, but those left hooks were atrocious. Train people from across the left wing spectrum to provide skills and the confidence to protect themselves. In that case, you might want to learn to punch with your knuckles and not your fingers. Racism is on the rise, the far right is on the rise. People need to know how to defend themselves. Ah, uh, yes, I remember my first fight with racism. I ankle picked it and put it in an anaconda choke. All right, that's enough class demonstration. Let's meet some of the pupils. I've been going to anti-fascist demonstrations for a number of years now. Ooh, it looks like we got a veteran. I kind of saw a wider popular racism take hold of society with Islamophobia, opposition to refugees entering the UK, and I thought I need to get involved to stop the spreading of these sorts of ideas. And what's the best way to stop the spreading of ideas? Muay Thai. I have to admit you're starting to pique my interest. An idea fighting league? That's brilliantly retarded. The Northwest Infidels, the Northeast Infidels, the Southeast Alliance, National Action. Over in America with Charlottesville, we saw massive levels of violence from the far right there. Whoa, oh, 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 hold your horses there, V for Velveeta. I'd like to see some local shows before we take this over the pond. We've had the Football Lads Alliance come out. I think there's probably a lot of people on that march who aren't far right but they will provide a, a breeding ground and a recruitment ground for much more far-right forces in the UK. Now we're talking. I know they're not Nazis, but like you said, eh, close enough. Plus, it's not a bad idea to get some practice in before you fight the real thing. It was nice to meet you, Velveeta. Could I have the next student, please? It has made me a lot more confident. Well, it definitely looks like it. Honestly, you didn't need to say anything. We could tell by the demeanor on your face. And a quick side note, already have a slapping league, and trust me, you're no match. <laughs> Next student, please. I was one of the people that started it. Once you start a fight, you carry on until there is no threat to you anymore. Now that's classic martial arts right there. I believe it was Bruce Lee that said, pick a fight. They might deserve it. All right, I believe it's time for me to speak with the chosen one. Bring me your sensei. Today we're just looking at um, practical, real-life applications for, for sports techniques. That sounds great, Sensei Peter. Would you mind demonstrating some of your techniques? And then you increase that limit. Nice. When those fascists get hit by the people's elbow, they won't know what to do. Speaking of uh, fascists, I have a question. I'm more than a little confused on how you determine your opponents. If you're not an anti-fascist, well then, then surely you're a fascist. Okay, so you're saying it's pretty much random then. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give this a hard pass. Even my crackhead fighting league makes more sense than this does. And they're crackheads. <laughs> 